Hi guys, welcome Skelling here and we are off for a test video of our new 3DS which I have right here. It's been modified so you can see here it's a USB port and it's got a USB and it's going into the computer and I also have a uh, mail to mail uh, audio jack or whatever it's called, it's audio cable basically. So that's going through the headphone jack out from the 3DS to the microphone input of my laptop so that's how that's recording and I have the Kid Icarus stand right here to keep it standing so I've now got a 3DS capture device it came in today when I was at work so that was pretty cool um, big hype on actually you know being able to play when I get back here but here's the thing this test video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do for one thing we're at webcam well here's the thing I'm go using OBX because 3DS is 60 frames so of course I need to get for 60 frames webcams only 30 because that's what the webcam goes to but the webcam uh, is being recorded at 60 because it's all recorded at 60. When I do test videos, I don't like do many cuts. Obviously, I do the syncing up with the commentary and the footage and whatnot, which I'm recording my commentary with Audacity, so it's not going to match up with the webcam until afterwards. But that's because all the game sound is being recorded, and I might need to balance it out. Anyway, um, other than that, I've, I haven't really done anything to the 3DX's visuals from the viewing software that they give you, but the viewing software can't record it, hence why I'm using OBS and it needs to record in 60 frames. And since it's only a, a window, that doesn't record it all that obs is doing is recording the web the, 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 the desktop at any point so it can actually do 60 frames i've done a couple of like um pre-tests as it were just to make sure that i can actually record in 60 without frame drops because i don't want that shoddiness but this is just a proof of concept on how i can lay out 3ds footage so let's Go since I've already shown you the the, uh, the the modifications of the thing. Let's go to the desktop now. It's going to be a bit janky here. I need to minimise our OBS here as well as uh, thing. Here's the window. Now I don't want to mess about with the window just in case. But as you can see here, we've got a few things that we can check out. We've got um, some of our 3DS info that or the capture device info that it's connected to. Limited to 30 frames, uh, which we're not doing because as you can see at the corner here, we're at 60. I'm at RGB 565 color. That's because I'm at lightweight. If I go at full color, it can barely do a couple of frames. So that's a problem. And high color, well, it kind of, well, as you can see with Dream Drop Distance here, um, I've got this cartridge in. It's just a proof of concept thing because if we ever do co cover this game, it'll be on the PS4. But the the writing or the color around the words becomes like a fluorescent blue and all the colors get smudged and i don't really like that so that's kind of a thing so i've gone lightweight because full color is just not possible that's like eight 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 and for some reason it just does not like it so that's a thing we haven't got the 3d on because i can't do anything about that i've chosen an an any strum any straw thick uh filtering over bilinear because everyone hates bilinear and I went with voice tropic and said the thing is is that without a filter the 3ds actually looks kind of bad so I kind of need the filtering for that and I've also made it a times two so um, I can upscale it when necessary and that's pretty much it really I mean display I mean I've set it to a um, hundred currently of separate screen spacing uh, mainly because um, of the uh, layout because you don't want to be seeing my board my like my desktop background in the in you know in the background so if I open up OBS again and go to my next scene I have set up this so my webcam is not going to be here as a mainstay for proof of concept just trying out everything that the 3ds can do this is here it's funny really actually because as you can see the uh, the screens on screen it's actually on here as well so it's literally one for one, so there's no latency whatsoever, which is amazing. It's a hard mod as well. I was tempted to show off what it actually looks like on the thing, but basically if you take off the back panel of a new 3DS, right behind, right where the uh, SD card is, they chisel out a bit of plastic that of the plastic casing, and that's where the little chip sits. They even put like a little bit of um, fabric tape so that if you try to put in or swap out your SD card, it won't damage the circuitry, so that's really cool. Um, it, the stylus doesn't really fit in it kind of gets stuck almost all the way in but since it's quite secure now it's not going to go anywhere and it doesn't actually affect anything so that's pretty sweet so of course going to be really careful with this i've got it in the uh, kid icarus uh, uprising stand of course if i need gyro i can pick up the system and move it left and right but you know for stability purposes and as you can see here that's how why i've done the thing with the uh 
This is, this is why I've done the thing with the uh, splitting the, the cameras up. Of course, in certain projects we will have borders, but for proof of concept and to keep the screen's aspect ratios the same, because, you know, when I do test uh, videos such as this, it's always in the resolution that's recorded in. There's two screens. That's not possible, and I don't want the desktop in the way. So this is the best. And of course, as you can see, I've got webcam just in case so that you can actually see that if I do pick up the system, I'll move it here so I can move around. In fact, I'll hold it up for just a bit. So... To start off with, let's try a 3DS game. Let's go into Kinemark Stream Up Distance. So, like I said, not many cuts. I'll put timestamps in the uh, in the description for what games we just show off because, um, you know, test videos. I don't normally do montages, but since this is basically just recording uh, a screen <laughs> with a screen capture device, I just need to output it. It's basically a glorified USB uh, visual splitter. So we'll skip that for now because we don't want to get moaned at. So, yeah, I'm actually, I can actually look at my uh, desktop while I'm playing, actually. I might not actually need to look at my screen. I mean, I'll look at it here for now, and then I'll start looking at the desktop, so you'll see my visual um, be different, basically. So, yeah, let's mess around on my best file. Uh, yep, I do have SoccerPad Pro, because this is a new 3DS, so just press ZLZR, get the expanded controls. I haven't played this on 3DS for quite a while, so, and you only get two files, so, eh, that's annoying. It would have been nice if you could have, like, you know, had your files on the set SD card, because that would make a lot of sense. Look at this resolution! Oh, yeah, I need my stylus. Hang on. Stylus. That's, uh, Hibuski! So this is my best file, of course. Just running around with the Kingdom Key, with the, the Kingdom Key, the ultimate weapon. Just one shot like that. Uh, that's Salvation here. Don't know why I use uh, that, but I know why I use this, because it's such a good spe skill. Mega Flare, why not? Screen Nuke. You can't hold anymore, oh no. So yeah, this is exactly what it would be. Now, when it comes to covering 3DS content on this channel, um, I've already done DS and 3DS content before, uh, but what I want to talk about 3DS-wise is that, if you remember, I covered King, um, some Ocarina of Time uh, bonus, uh, bonuses on this game, either glitches or the 3D changes, or the upgraded to the 3D. Now, for those uh, proof of concept of videos, um, I might be, be a bit experimental, but they're basically going to be remakes of old videos because the quality was, you know, just pointing a camera at the screen and it's moving and it's just all over the place. So I might remake those videos. I mean, it just seems like the best thing to do, considering. So, for some reason I'm getting a lot of uh, control latency, uh, but I don't remember if it's the game or what. I feel like it might be the game. I mean, there shouldn't be any latency unless outputting the USB draws extra power from the system or something. But I'm not getting any, any other kind of performance drops, and I think this game only runs in 30, so, but, you know, for the full 60 effect. So, I think that's a good enough test on Kingdom Hearts uh, 3D, because we've got loads to cover. But yeah, when it comes to um, stuff we've covered before, like Ocarina of Time uh, 3D and whatnot, that'd be cool. And we'll finally be able to get to Majora's Mask 3D. So we tested out a 3DS game. We're going to now try a normal DS game. So this is actually going to be a good method for recording normal DS games. So I can't remember if I actually played this on this system, but Spectrobes Beyond the Portals, the sequel to Spectrobes. If you remember a little while back with uh, my final Wi-Fi matches, I covered Spectrobes uh, Origins, the sequel to this game on the Wii, and I was actually contacted by people um, from the wiki to for uh, an image to be used to show off the Wi-Fi stuff, which was pretty cool. So let's skip that. And that's actually something that... Uh, that's actually very loud, so I might have to mess about with that during editing. But yeah, um, that's a thing. When it comes to um, other stuff that I covered, for, like Wi-Fi matches and... Um, Wi-Fi matches and Miiverse moments, those videos I cannot, uh, you know, redo for obvious reasons. The service has ended, which was the purpose of the, of the actual, uh, you know, of the actual series. Uh, my Wi-Fi matches could have easily been done better, but when it came to 3DS content at that point, I always tried, if possible, to um, use the webcam and this very... Uh, ah, pointing the wrong way. <laughs> this overlay 
to you get the right aspect ratios for the webcam so that the screens looked at least presentable and that was the closest I could possibly get it without a capture device or using emulation which with stuff from the eShop you can't emulate so had to do it through the actual hardware and that was the only way I could do it um, funny that because that was like roughly this time last year I believe so so let's uh I haven't played this game in ages, but yeah, I wanted to choose a 3D um, DS game. Not a 3DS game, but a 3D game that runs under the original DS, just to show it off. So right now I'm playing as Rallin. I've got, um, well, of course I'm playing as Rallin. I've got my, be my, the, my best weapons at the ready. I can take out cool spawns pretty well. I don't know if I'll ever cover these games. I mean, it's obviously a good opportune moment, but it, I've, it's been a hot while since I've played these games. And the Disney games as well, by the way. I mean, imagine if these ended up in, like, Kingdom Hearts. That's ridiculous. So I'll just start off with two Disney games already. Okay, I'm just going to pound. Stun you! Right, let's go actually fight some Cruel. So I'll leave it at that when it comes to that. But, yeah, remakes of certain um, uh, videos that I've already made before is going to be a thing. Right, can I lock on? I forget how you lock on. That switch. How do I attack? How do I attack? Oh my god, I cannot attack. It's R to lock on, but I'm not locking on. There we are, now I've locked on. Okay, so it's A to attack. Like I said, it's been a very long while since I've played this game. Alright, so you know what, we're going to switch, because we're not having a good time with uh, Windora. There we are. In fact, can I just hit you a couple more times so I can get the orange field? Nope, I win. I want to do the orange, so that's a thing. Windora used to be one of my best spec tropes in the first game. The, the combat engine is completely different from what it was in the first game, but some of the effects, some of the uh, methods are different, are the same, excuse me, but drastically different in Origins. As you see, we actually fight alongside the spec tropes. It was like that in Spectrobes 1, but Rallin just did not have the equipment to fight, and that was the whole point. You were supposed to be there for support for your actual beasts, and Windora just got wrecked. So, oh, hang on. I keep turning the camera too quickly. There we go. So if I can just stab a couple of times here, I can get the Y off. Thankfully, just attacking bumps it up a bit as well. Yeah, now we can use our special. I'm um, pressing Y. I guess I need both of them in order to do it. Let's just do that. There we go. Okay, so they both need to be active in order to do the thing. That's a problem. Like I said, been years since I played this game, so if this is very shoddy, like I said, it's just a proof of concept and I wanted to show this game off, which is why I chose it. So, yeah, that's DS content, so that's pretty cool. So we've seen uh, no signal, oh, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine, because it's in the middle of uh, transferring stuff, uh, transitioning back from the DS emulation to or hardware to the actual stuff. So let's take that out, and I'm going to pop in Metroid 2 again, just... Uh, just because that was what I actually had in there before I sent it off. So, and yeah, I did not send them off with these plates, by the way. I changed them to the uh, Zelda ones that I had before, because these were the original white ones. But yeah, these are way more worth to me than the uh, Zelda ones, funnily enough, because these were custom made. But anyway, uh, let's try a DSiWare app. Uh, no, a DSiWare app? A DSiWare game, since we're still in the DS area. So, where's my folder? There it is. That's 3DS Wear, so we'll probably pop on Shantae or something. Shantae? Shantae? I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. Yeah, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this as lot alongside Majora's Mask 3D. It's Four Swords Anniversary Edition, the bonuses that you can't get on the GBA version, like the extra dungeons. Uh, uh, you know what? We might actually pop on a Risky's Revenge, the original. Shall we do that? Actually, you know what? No, we're going to go Pico Picked. Let's do a puzzle game. We don't do puzzle games that often, so we'll do that. So, this is Pic Pico Picked, which was a uh, DSiWare game that's quite a unique puzzle game. And you can actually unlock NES like remixes that you listen to when you're doing the areas. And it's like slightly rhythm based as well. So, it's kind of weird. I mean, like, we can go to music right here. I'm not going to play too much because, you know, Nintendo are kind of dicks when it comes to that. Uh. I mean, it's just one track there. If I played it for ages, we would have to actually get to that point. But you can unlock some remixed mi music tracks that are exclusive to this game and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. So let's just pop onto this and just mess about. So what we got to do is uh, collect blocks like that uh, and draw them as such. So then when you tap that block, it fuses and it builds the pixel above. So that's cool. 
So let's do that and that and let's uh, combo right here As you can see here I am comboing There we are and the music is starting to build Let's try to tap there uh, so let's do that. I think that's good. Yep, tap, tap. Get the green, tap there. Do that. So I'm playing very conservative right now, just to show off like the best, like the aspects of this game. This is actually a good excuse for me to like live stream uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun actually, because I haven't played that since I've reached the second island because it was too similar to. It, it was like it should have been a third version and not its own thing. In my personal opinion. Oh, I buggered that one up, but I'll get that combo instead. That's perfectly fine. There we are. Nailed that one. In a certain way. Oh, and this is going to be a mass load of blocks. Uh, I've only got nothing. I've got nothing but oranges, which is a problem. I've got no yellows. So, of course, when they hit the bottom, they'll break. So, you can actually use those for other blocks. Okay, this is bad. Oh, okay, I nailed it. Alright, so... Sorry if I keep wiping my brow, it's really hot today. It's like it's supposed to be the hottest day in Britain today, and I had to turn the fan off, so that's not interference, because the method that I have to uh, capture sound from the 3DS isn't the cleanest, because it has to be through an audio jack wire, unless I got, like, um, something like... A filter or some sort, let's like USB, but I'm already out of USB ports because I've got my hard drive, got the uh, this, got the webcam, and got the microphone, so I'm out of and I'm not allowed to use uh, multi ports. But yeah, as you see there, that's uh, picker picked, so that's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna go to the next stage. So that's a DSiWare game, so DS, DSi, pretty much the same thing, but you know, might as well test out every form. So let's go do uh, we won't do a 3DS game, uh, 3DS download game. Or 3DS where, as I call it. Instead, we'll do a 3DS app. So, let's, uh... You know what? Because it was actually a thing in the, in the uh, my final we Meverse moments. Because you could get special stuff via the uh, sharing of the uh, messages in this. We might as well boot this up. So, I'm going to cut out the waiting, at least. Because we don't need to see that. Oh my god, this is taking forever. I haven't touched this since that video, by the way, guys. In the Final Meverse moments. Any videos I've been mentioning, by the way, will be in the car in a card in the uh, co top corner above me. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is like three years... This app itself is like three to four years old. And not only that, I haven't touched it in ages, so it's writing a lot of data to the card right now. It, I'm just been sitting here, and I'm playing it on the stand now. Um, so I'm actually got the system on the stand like a controller, but I'm looking at my desktop. In fact, this means I can play the, the, the 3DS on the big screen. Just if I output my... Uh, so basically, the 3DS goes into the laptop, yeah? Open up the viewing software, max out the viewing software to full screen, and then HDMI my laptop's desktop to my TV, and then I can play my 3DS on the big screen. That's, that's amazing. Hurry up! Thank you! Uh, by the way, guys, have, I don't know if you've noticed, i got a nice white chair now with black highlights. Better than that old blue thing, which I still have behind here for streaming purposes with an extra person. So I don't have to keep fetching a chair all the time, but this is a swanky new thing. I had to build this myself, it was flat packed. That took 10 minutes! Boo up this game whenever possible, because you don't want to be sitting waiting like that. Alright, so, shut up, please. See it again today. Free play every day. Cardboard box, we understand. At least that kicks us straight in so I don't have to actually do anything. Normally, he would go about a big spear on new badges, but since there's no more new badges. So, we've got some... Uh, wait, I didn't say I was going to look at here. I was going to look at here, so let me uh, switch screens. There we are. So, uh, for myself, not for you guys. So, we got some Chikoria Meganiums. This actually feels weird look, not looking down at the screen. But at the same time, this is pretty awesome. It's like playing the Game Boy Player, but instead of looking at the GBA in your hands, you're looking at the TV. I've just got to remember, no screens below me unless I need the touch screen. It's like the Wii U in that respect. <laughs> Funny, that. So, a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Doesn't surprise me considering Pokemon Go, so they probably still update you to that sort of stuff. I might go for some of them. Oh, console ones. I mean, they're not console ones that I would use for the my folders in this, because it's GameCube. Which we still haven't got, by the way. <laughs> uh, Wii U, N64, Zelda weapons, Prenando. 
Uh, let's see. Whoa. We got like a weird flowery like thing going on there. Should I go for that? Let's go for that. Hit I bugged that one up. Let's go with something else. Uh, right. Okay. Um, I doubt there's actually anything else I would fancy here, to be honest. Fire Emblem, Mega Man, of course, Mega Man. Yep, we're going in a big circle. Let's go back and try for Flowey one more time. I know it's not Flowey. Let me have it. Undertale. I showed you my 3DS. I love it. Uh, right. So when is it coming out on Switch? That's a question. There we go! Got him! Don't you have anything better to do? So now I've got to wait until the game just saves it and lets me pick it up. Do -do 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 -do. There we are. Got it. Awesome. Yep, I am perfectly fine. The game has already saved. I am not dealing with that anymore. We are done on that. So, let's quit out of that. Why am I looking down here again? Good lord. So, we've now done 3DS. We've done a 3DS app, I guess. We've done um, DS and DSi. So, I think the next step is to retail download. Nope. Uh, well, a 3D Classics is technically a 3D download. But when am I ever going to show one of these off? So, I think what we'll do is that... Yeah, we'll sh mm, I could do that later. I guess I'm never going to show off Excavus, so I might as well just boot that up. I haven't played these games in ages. This is just an excuse for me to do a little showcase. So, we're doing a 3DS Classics. I guess you could call this any an, a, an enhanced NES port. Basically, it's the same game as the arcade or the NES games. But they've got like a 3D kind of like retro filter going on basically everything's like actual 3d design you'll see what i mean i mean if you have the 3d on you would notice it a lot more but of course that's a thing so it'll probably just look exactly the same to you this probably is quite pointless to show off but you can see how it would work so we got we got we hold the b button for um rapid fire shots and we also have uh, the A button to shoot mines below you. Of course, like I said, the 3D Ace, uh, 3D capability works really well with this arcade classic, which is why it got the uh, the enhanced port. So there's that base down there that I, I could have shot with a missile. So I'll do it now. Bang. So it would be a lot easier if I had 3D on. I mean, I could probably turn 3D on for myself. As you can see there, I'm shifting the screen because I'm 3D. And I was not actually looking at my thing, but yeah. Uh, so that's normal 3D, and if I max it out, it all moves it to the side because you're only seeing one half of the visual footage. But if I turn off 3D for myself, I can actually see that my cursor ahead of me is on the floor, and the enemies are like actually flying above. And because it's the new 3DS, I don't have to look dead on. And because it's also the new 3DS, built in Circle Pad Pro, and I can also play games like Bunny Lights Rebirth, which I've already shown, uh, as like a webcam test recording for this kind of thing. So yeah, that'll do for that, I guess. I mean, I want to move things along a tad, so... Let me turn the 3DS off. Uh, the, the 3D on. Uh, off for that. Excuse me. So, now we've seen 3D classics. So, um, I guess we will see how Game Gear works. This is actually kind of ironic. In fact, that might be a video I might redo, even though I've got... Because I've still got the save state, but at the same time, that would be kind of pointless, because it's not monumental at that point, because that was a really tough game. Just a basic dungeon crawler, one dungeon or 30 floors or whatnot, and you beat the game. Think of Mystery Dungeon, but you're just in one dungeon that's 30 floors, and once you beat it, you're done. It was basically the Pioneer. That's how I see it. So, yes, I've got the, uh, the border, which is how I prefer it. Um, but you can actually see that... Um, on Sonic Triple Trouble right here, which I'm not exactly a big Sonic fan, but I guess it's the first time you actually see me play Sonic on, like, I don't know why I had to scroll there for me to actually get out, but there we are. I must have been playing this earlier and just didn't think nothing of it. But yeah, so that's the border right there, so let's go Virtual Console Menu, and let's go to Screen Settings. Let's turn off the, uh, wait, how do I go, oh, dot by dot, I want to change that. Let's go normal, so that's full screen right there. So that's, that's full screen, which is stretched, which we don't want. We always want proper aspect ratio, especially on the 3DS. So we had proper aspect ratio with the border, but it's like a border within a border. So this is why I wanted to test out um, this as well, because, yeah, it, it's just a great, like, show-off of, like, oh, this is what it looks like normally without the border. This is what it looks like with the border in the 3DS border. So it's like border section right there. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, the physics in this are very floaty. It's it always uh, like mess, messes me up. 
I hope the frames are doing it, doing well for you, by the way, guys. I went out of my way to try and make sure this is 60 frames. Even though my webcam's 30, most of these games probably run less than that, but the 3DS itself does run 60. I mean, look at Smash. That's 60. So, I mean, I guess I could have done a bit of Smash on the 3DS, but it's not mine. I don't have the DLC on here, and it's my brother's data on the one card. It's one save data per card. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't actually think of doing that to begin with. But... I can, I, I can still see that I could have. I mean, I guess I could boot up the demo. I, could, I might just do that to finish things off. Just do one thing of the demo, because I have got the demo on here, so we'll see some 60 frame action there. So, just testing out a bunch of games, because, like, it's a console. It, it, of course it's a console, but there are so many different games that's different re resolutions. It kind of, like, gets a little bit on the overwhelming side. So let me change my screen back to dot by dot, because I still kind of like the border. Go back into that, and let's exit out of there. So, haven't got any Super Nintendo games, sadly. I'm thinking about uh, picking up Earthbound again, but at the same time, I'm not entirely too sure. It might be a different game. It might be a Mega Man game, actually, to be honest. Or maybe Super Metroid. Can't decide. But I am an ambassador, as I've said many a time. I did get my original 3DS, the Cosmo Black one, uh, before that, the, the, the immediate price drop, so it was like, I got all these games for, fr for free, effectively, and they're exclusive to the ambassadors only, so I guess what we will do is we will have some... I don't plan on covering Minish Cat, but you know what, we haven't had something Zelda for quite a while, so... Yeah, why not, we'll go on here. I was tempted on actually, uh... Using Hyrule Warriors Legends as my uh, 3DS cartridge, um, you know, my 3DS, uh, the 3DS cartridge uh, test. So the bottom of the screen is completely unused, so that's pretty much just going to be dead. Uh, but yeah, we we're able to actually play this game. So I only have the one file, that's fine. Maxed out with Red Tunic, because why not? Yeah, I'm kind of at the end of the game, so let's avoid some spoilers here. I mean, almost every game I've booted up, I've been at the end in the final area, so it's like, hmm. But, you know, it's not that big of an issue because I can just, you know, walk away from that area. And you're not going to see a lot if I don't go into detail, you don't know what's going on, so. Sorry about that, I had to cut myself off mid-discussion um, mid, uh, there because uh, things happened. Um, noth nothing to do with the recording, though, by the way. It was just a bit of a mini-interruption. But, yeah. Don't know what to say really here. I mean, Minish Cap is is another one of those um, Zelda games were made by Capcom uh, soon after um, the Game Boy Color uh, duology games that they released, which was all called Ages and Seasons, which had bonuses if played on a Game Boy Advance, which the Virtual Console versions I think do make available. Can't remember, but I have the cartridges of that, so that's a thing. I'll just play those for the Game Boy Player because otherwise I have to re-download them again. So. Let's go uh, get some uh, hurricane spin action here. Yeah, I know this isn't that, that Minish Cap's not very exciting, but you can pretty much see that the bottom screen is completely dead. So if I ever do uh, Game Boy Advance games that I have on the 3DS out of the 10 that are available, and I want to cover them at any point, I'll probably favour the 3DS over um, the actual hardware because it will just look a lot sharper. I mean, obviously there are GBA games on the um, on the Wii U, so I could emulate them that way if they were available. And, of course, I like to avoid using unofficial emulators when possible. Um, like with ROM hacks, there's, there's, there's no way otherwise, unless I buy myself an EverDrive 64, but then there's the risk of the hardware itself, so, you know. All those kind of things kind of factor in, which is another reason why I wanted to get the, the uh, actual hardware, because I do have the Citra 3DS emulator, but it's hard to get ROMs for the game. You kind of need to f do firmware modifications with your 3DS as well in order to dump ROMs in order to play them, and even then it's not 100% compatible. And I doubt I'll be able to record it in 60 frames because that means it's going to be very taxing because it's an emulator. It has to be constantly converting the, all, everything to for a computer to read. So, yeah. So, let's see some Minish action right here. I'm going to let it run. And then uh, we will exit after that. So, I still actually find it more comfortable looking at the system when you guys are seeing the recording. But... But the PSP, it wasn't like that, so if the screen's actually turned off on the 3DS, that would actually be a lot more, you know, manageable, so. Yeah, the bottom screen kind of acts like a very lukewarm, uh, virtual console kind of menu, it's, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, that's GBA. We're almost done, though. So we've done Game Gear, 
Game Boy Color or Game Boy. I never plan on covering the original Shantae because I just suck at it. This was that very game, by the way, that I got that cartridge tilt glitch thing, whatever, and I don't know how it happened. The reason why I do not like this uh, Shantae game, I mean, it looks really good for what it is, I will say that, but there's a problem. There's a life system, so every time you die, you don't just lose like half a heart or something, you, you basically get fully revived, but you lose a, a life, and if you die that, uh, if you lose all three lives by just falling in pits, Three falls in a pit is immediate game over, and that's kind of outdated. Not only that, but the hitboxes are really janky. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm pressing. There we are. Hitboxes are really janky. Uh, Shantae doesn't have nearly as much reach as she usually does in all the other games. I feel like the first game really needs a remake, to be honest. Maybe using the same style for Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse, because the graphic style was used for both those. I mean, the music is the same memorable tunes that we know, these are the originals. A fun fact, actually, in I think in Europe, uh, this game was um, distributed by Capcom, even though it, but it wasn't actually said that it was made by Ray, Way Forward, so, because it, it, I thought it was a Capcom game. So when I thought that Way Forward were doing like Pirate's Curse, I was like, is this supposed to be Capcom? So like, I just fell into a pit there. And I got game over, even though I had one and a half hearts left. That's one of the real reasons why I don't like this game. It's it's impressive for what it is, especially with the full body artwork like this on menus as well. But the main problem, as I've said before, is that if you die, you pretty much respawn exactly where you made your previous save. Not only that, but dancing, you're not invincible. So like, if I da if I was dancing around by pressing the wrong button every so often, because select Y is like a pseudo select button. Um, this is cool, by the way. I was surprised that this actually never came back to um, the Shantae series, the full body exploration shots like that. But yeah, as you saw when I was messing about, I was pressing Y and or select in this case, and like, if I try to dance now, enemies can stew moves. So they can actually knock you out of your dance routine. And dances are quite long in this game. Let me pause here. Go to the. Uh, how do I go next? Do I have to actually go there, or is it Y? No. Oh, it's B. Yeah. So dances don't look very long, but they can get really long. Look at the size of those boxes. It could go up to ten steps. So you want to make sure that you're nowhere near people in order or enemies in order to actually do a dance, and that's terrible. <laughs> that is really terrible. At least in the other games, it freezes so you know what you're doing, and if you mess it up, that's your fault. But here, you're not even safe when you're dancing, and the dances are longer than what they were in Brisky's Revenge. And in Pirate's Curse, it was more like just shortcuts, so you just had to wait with the beat. So, yeah. Shantae 1 needs a remake. It really does. So, that's Game Boy and Game Boy Color. We don't really need to see anything else about that. So, I guess the final thing that we can show off is NES. I mean, it's kind of funny, actually. Some of these NES games uh, do have uh, multiplayer, uh, like download play multiplayer. So, if my brother walked in right now and had his 3DS, we could just be playing two-player right then and there. There's the option right down there. These are special. In fact, these were also included for the Ambassador program, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, but... Once everybody else got it available through the eShop normally, the ambassadors were able to update for free to that very version, which gave all the actual extra features, including the save states. Because when we when the ambassadors got them early, we didn't have control options, we didn't have the restore point, and we certainly didn't have download play. So even people, even us ambassadors, even though that we had the game early, when it came out for everybody else, we still got what well, obviously everyone else got those additions. Um, but that means we also had another reason to come back to these games that we got so early on. I mean, yes, they're NES games, I mean, they're kind of like chuck-away titles at this point, but what are you gonna do? Right, I was hoping that that condor wasn't gonna come up and get me. Right, so I guess we'll just quickly beat this level and then we'll just get out because it's Ice Climbers. I mean, we haven't seen the Ice Climbers since, they're coming back for Smash Ultimate, which is hype. So I guess that was a good segue on actually having a good reason on choosing this game, to be honest, as my NES uh, demonstration. Oh, yes, you can't jump through clouds, that's a thing. Come on. Come on, at least these are proper seconds, unlike Super Mario Brothers. I mean, seriously, Nintendo, what the hell was that? Alright, I don't know if I'm actually going to make it to the Condor. i got to nail the jump. And it's like frame perfect as well. Hey! Hey, he actually came back to grab me, that's nice. Do-do-do-do, do 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 
Something like that. Yay! What a bonus! We did the thing! Yeah, we didn't really do a lot. So we'll just uh, exit out of that. So that's NES. Very short. But, you know, arcade style games kind of tend to be. We've got Game & Watch. Let's pop on ball. Why the hell not? Let's do some juggling. It's a DSiWare game, yeah, sure. But it's also Game & Watch. So we might as well see how this looks. Oh, look at that. Let's go Game A. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> This was before the Game Boy, people. This was before the Game Boy. Stellar gameplay. And a built-in uh, alarm clock as well, funnily enough. As long as you, uh, you know, have a decent uh, lithium coin battery. I always call them coin batteries. They look all like, like lithium iron or something. They're like little tablets or coins but and they're batteries. But I always call them coin batteries out of habit. Yeah, I think we've seen enough of that. <laughs> I had to, I had to. I mean, if we're going to cover, like, literally everything, we might as well do Game & Watch. Yes, it's DSi, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Am I right? I mean, you're not going to see that on an emulator, probably. Unless, you know, it's actually working. So, let's wait for everything to load again. I think we pretty much covered everything. I mean, it's funny, really, because we actually have a D we have DS downloads, which was very special for uh, Nintendo... My Nintendo, that's what it's called. So yeah, that is pretty much everything on the DS that I wanted to cover. So it's kind of funny actually, because I could go into camera and we'll have double webcam action uh, without sound. But yeah, um, I think the, the final thing that we're going to do is boot up the demo. This is the unlimited use demo that you get through emails at the time. So, I mean, obviously you can download the demo as well, but you only have 30 limited uses. So that, that that's something. But hey, we're actually able to play the demo here. So that's pretty cool. So... Might as well have some, uh, yeah, look at that 60 frame action. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is definitely 60 frames. Oh, I actually saved my colour, I didn't realise that. Alright, let's go. It's two minutes, we all know how this is. We've only got one stage. Doesn't matter, it's perfect for what we want to do. Lloyd Rocket! That's, I don't know, I think that was supposed, wait, why is it called Lloyd Rocket? Oh, that might be the, a different Lloyd that I might be thinking of. Okay, so I don't play it on the 3DS that often do uh, at all. I mean, who does at this point? To be perfectly honest, unless you don't, you know, unless you want to bring the game with you, then it's obviously a good choice. But you know, my only reason that I wanted to actually, you know, uh, show this off is mainly because of the 60 frames. So you know that I'm actually recording in 60 frames, taking full advantage of it. This is just basically a bonus at the very end. So we'll do a whole bank match on this, because why not? I might upload this as like a uh, replay of some sort as well, just export it. So that might be cool. And this might also this will also mean that Ar my brother Aaron can actually finally do his uh, 3DS replays. Even though um, most of those are probably not going to be compatible anymore due to all the updates and whatnot. So. Yeah, I don't use a 3DS. I don't, I don't normally have limited button options. I'm not used to this control scheme. Oh, right in mid -air. That's actually kind of cool. I just got a double KO out of that as well. Yeah, so I'm not exactly doing my strats that I normally do while playing uh, playing competitive, but that's mainly because items are in effect, and um, like I said, don't play on the 3DS that much. But this demo was a very nice thing to tide us all over, and seeing that 60 frame goodness with all items enabled on Battlefield, with some of the most fan favourite and also the new characters as well. Oh! He dodged it. Can I get it off? There we go! It's double kill! I wasn't actually expecting that, to be honest. I'm trying to chuck it. There we are. It was the other button. He actually caught it mid mid throw. What the hell? Alright, now I'm getting competitive. Is it just me or the controls are a lot more, like, snappy on this? I mean, the controls are small, which is probably what's messing me up. Plus, I'm not holding the control the, the 3DS properly. But, hey, I think that was worth. So, yeah, guys, that is, in fact, my 3DS capture kit. So, I'll be remaking older videos that use the 3DS, excluding the ones that were, you know, either, you know, too old, that were monumental at the time, or things that I may not be able to replicate on a whim. And this actually takes quite a while to set up because I'm connected by wires all over the place. I'm like on life support. Plus, um, you know, 
3DS games are now available to be covered, and of course, that's the only way to cover 3DS games. My free, uh, my, my uh, laptop is uh, creating a storm. I'm slowing my speech a lot today, good lord. But yeah, with my new chair, my 3DS capture device, we are now able to record a bunch of stuff. I might stream some Ultra Moon, that might be a good reason to come back to it. Um, I might do, uh, you know, Let's Plays if you guys want it. I mean, I know you guys want Majora's Mask, so planning needs to start now, but now we have this. And not only that, but, you know, anything else that may come up as well, if Nintendo Network decides to end, we can play some online matches. Online Mario Kart 7 lobbies, maybe? Patreon? I don't know. And, uh, or live streams, that as well, perhaps. I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to get archived. Uh, but yeah, finally got this. I'm just glad that it was actually a lot cheaper than it usually is, because it's supposed to be, like, $460 or something for the new 3DS, uh, normal size model uh sent in but it got knocked down to about 220 dollars and i was and translation with post sheets that was like two one that, that was a uh, 180 pounds so it was like yeah i gotta do it that's the cheapest so it, it was like the perfect opportunity for me to pick this up so i hope you guys are hyped for this 3ds capture kit i am sweating buckets i apologize for that but like i said it's hot and it's been raining on and off with storms constantly fan would have caused even more background noise than both the laptop's fan because it's hot as well as you know any interference that any wires may cause but this is a proof concept video 60 frames we covered every ki kind of game or mode that the 3ds has to offer and i'll see you guys for whatever we do uh, when it comes to remaking old 3ds videos with that guys see you guys next time this was a big test video probably the longest and most varied